When you were standing there and Pope Francis is speaking to everybody, was that your biggest pinch me moment or? Yes. No question. Yeah. Uh, when uh, I had spent 20 years trying to get a pope to come and address a joint session of Congress. Mm -hmm. and when I started this in 1995, I was the number four leader. Gingrich was the brand new speaker. I thought it was a big shot. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, and I fired this letter off to John Paul. And of course, I get no response. And, That's uh, got to sting a little bit. Yeah. You feel like you've made <laughs> no, it pretty not, high. No, not really. Your office in Rayburn's no. a little bit bigger than it used to be. No, not really. Not really. I get that when I send out an email to a staff. I'm like, can we please get Gerald Mattis? And I haven't gotten a response in like seven months, but I try once a week. Try again. No, no, I just sent one letter. So yeah. uh, and John Paul passes away and Pope Benedict is elevated. And he comes to Washington and he goes to the White House. President Bush is there, and I have dinner with him at the White House, and that's really nice. But like, he's not even I, Catholic. But <laughs> I still, I still want a pope to come to uh, the Congress, and so uh, Francis gets elevated. I fire off another letter, and I don't hear anything for about six, seven months. And the Cardinal World here in Washington uh, calls me, a friend of mine. I'm involved in helping poor kids in D.C. get a chance in an education, so he tells me he's going to. Uh, the Vatican to try to convince the Pope to come to the U.S. in 2015. This is February 2015. So, uh, good luck. Let me know what I can do to help. So he goes to, to the Vatican, and, and he's trying to convince the Pope to come to the U.S. The Pope says, no, Cardinal World, I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going here. He said, but I did get this letter from your parliament. I'm somewhat intrigued by it. Whoa, well, your Holy Father... You know, that in the United States it's called our Congress, and the guy who wrote this letter is a guy named John Boehner. And I can hear the Cardinal World now saying all the things I do to help these poor kids in D.C. <laughs> and and the Pope looks at him and says, okay, I'll come. Oof. So my office is working with the Vatican, and, and uh, we come up with a date. He's coming September 24th, 2015. My daughter's pregnant with my first grandchild. Going to be born six weeks before the Pope comes. Ah, oh, you could have got the blessing from the So Lord. Cardinal <laughs> World, Cardinal Dolan, others are working with Vatican over to get the Pope to baptize my grandson. No way. Now you have to remember the Vatican has a 2,000 year head start on bureaucracy over us. Oh yeah. They are very good at this. <laughs> so we're back and forth and back and forth. And well, finally, they said, listen, we'd be happy to have the Pope bless your grandson. Great. I, I, I'm worn out. So uh, we get to September 24th, 2015, and, and you know, here I am, Catholic grade school, Catholic high school, Catholic university, older boy, and I've got every camera in the world in my office. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to greet the Pope, and we're going to turn around, and they're all going to take their shot. Well, you know, I'm crying my eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 just say, I'm a, I have to light my cigarette. <laughs> to say I'm a mess understatement but I know I have to I gotta get it together so I get, a, I get it together just long enough to turn around with the Pope and they get their shots so we have this uh, we go into my office and my chief of staff happens to be Catholic here are seven cardinals and the Pope I look at my chief of staff I said what the hell are we doing here <laughs> so we have this nice meeting and the meeting breaks up and my family's in this adjoining room so they, they come in Pope and I get up and see the Pope looking around and looking around. He finds his assistant and says, get me a glass of water. Oh, really? Oh, my God. He's going to baptize him. So I watch this assistant go get this glass of water and, and brings it back. And the Pope takes it from him in his right hand and passes it to his left hand. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, he's going to bless this. this. Hell, he took a drink. No. Oh, my God. It was the greatest head fake you'd ever seen. Your he, heart was beating oh, like geez. a rabbit. You're like, this is was, the moment. I, I was convinced he was going to baptize. <laughs> anyway, the Pope He's blessed him. Of, so I gave the Pope a little advice about his address, and I had to go open the house. And, yeah. and so uh, the Pope did a very nice job addressing the Congress. And afterwards, Vice President Biden and I escort the Pope out the back side of the chamber and around to my balcony. Mm -hmm. We got 75,000 people on the west front of the Capitol. And so uh, we finally go out there and all these people are going crazy and the Pope's waving and waving and I'm thinking to myself, well, I wonder what the plan is. <laughs> I don't have no idea. So I yeah. lean over the Pope and 
said, uh, your holy father, you might want to say a few words. So he rattles off three or four sentences in Spanish. So every Hispanic there is going crazy. <laughs> and then somebody interprets it all in English. Now they're all going crazy. So while they're going crazy, I lean over and say, uh, your holy father, I said, you know those kids that Cardinal World told you about? I've got 200 of them right down there. I point down to them. And he waves at them. And then he blesses them. I said, well, your holy father, you're going you know, to bless everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the indomitable spirit who finally yeah. blesses everybody. Yeah. So I lean over and go, and, and your holy father, you might want to say, and God bless the USA. And God bless the USA. That's the line that kills every time. Like it rushes <laughs> Growing, no matter I mean, Growing up in Ohio, yeah. sleeping in his dad's bar. Giving the Pope a little bit of advice. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, right. That, that is just, fucking yeah. insane. It's crazy. Yeah. Hold on, that it gets better. Crazy. So now it's time to leave. And the, well, I put the Pope on my little elevator, uh, my speaker elevator. Which you probably thought that you which, would do when you were Xavier. Like yeah, right. Oh, sense. totally. Which, uh, you know, it used to be an old air shaft in the Capitol. Mm -hmm. So I put he and his security guys on, on, the, on my elevator, and I run down the British staircase. A little staircase the British ran up and burnt the building down in 1812. And so uh, I get down. Smoke break. Smoke break. I just want to say for the record, <laughs> that was the same cigarette the butt went yeah, out it, one it time. Went out. I had to like, relight otherwise, it. people are listening like, good God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. <laughs> same cigarette, right? Same cigarette. <laughs> like, that was a 30 second lung dart. Yeah. My goodness. No, I can smoke some cigarettes. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> so we get down to the first floor, and uh, there's a departure ceremony. And uh, next thing I look up, it's the Pope and me. There ain't anybody, anybody. And the Pope takes his left hand and arm and grabs my left arm and pulls me next to him. And he's saying the sweetest things that anybody's ever said to me. This is the Pope. Wow. Did you cry? I look like a fire hydrant, <laughs> all right? Oh, my God. I've never had many, so many tears in my life. And he's still holding on to me. Uh -huh. He puts his right arm around me, gives me this bear hug, and says, Speaker, will you pray for me? Who? Me? Wow. Yes, wow. yes, 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 yes. Of yes. course. So, you know, a few minutes later, we got to walk out to this departure ceremony with all these cameras. I am a total shit face wreck. <laughs> and that's the there's second, no other way. And there's no other way. The first time right you would have cried in public, right? Oh, well, yeah, no, no <laughs> yeah. not hardly. Not hardly.